Hey guys, so just to get right into it, I'm going to start off with freshly co-washed hair and I like to let my hair air dry just about 75% so that the perm rest set comes out nice and fluffy and not with my texture still in it. And you're going to need some perm rods of course and I like to use three different sizes. I like to use the pink ones for the smaller or the shorter parts of my hair, the gray ones for the medium sized parts of my hair and then the purple ones on the longer parts of my hair. For my stylers, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion as well as the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Styling Foam. And then of course for my edges, I'm going to be using the Carol's Daughter Macadamia Hold and Control Smoother which is my fave along with my Olive Oil oil eco styro gel so starting off with this first section I'm going to begin with the styling lotion I'm just going to use this to condition my hair and to give it a nice moisture base for the perm rods and then on top of the styling lotion I'm going to put the styling foam and this is what's going to give the perm rods a nice hold and to make sure that they don't get frizzy next I'm just going to twist my hair about three times at the root and this just helps to stretch the roots out a little bit so that they're not too curly and then after I finish twisting I'm going to grab my pink perm rod because this is the shorter part of my hair and I'm just going to smooth out the hair really really well and then begin wrapping the hair around the perm rod. The key to this is making sure that your ends are really really smooth um, so that way your texture doesn't show through the perm rod and you also want to make sure that you're doing it really really tight so that way it stays in place. Then you just want to repeat that same exact process until your entire head is covered with the perm rods. And this process takes a little while, but it's definitely worth it in the end. Hey, guys, I don't have none, but I know people to carry it. So you better run, 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 run. I'm sipping run, run. Bottles on bottles, they bring on my table, but I'm not 21. Okay, so once you have all your perm rods in, they're going to look a little bit like this. You might look like somebody's grandma, but that's okay because tomorrow morning they're going to be on fleek. So you just want to air dry them overnight and make sure to cover them with a satin bonnet or sleep on a satin pillow. So now it's the next morning and you want to make sure that your curls are completely dry because if you don't, they might come out really, really frizzy. So if you find that some of your perm rods didn't dry completely, just kind of air dry with a blow dryer really quickly. Taking down the perm rods is super easy. All you have to do is unravel them in the same direction that you curled them. They look a little cray cray right now, but don't worry. We're going to separate them and fluff them out um, later on in the video. This is easy, man. I made this song in one day. They say, Gucci, Gucci, you gon' blow up one day. That's cause I'm the one with the sauce. Chef Legacy with the pants and the pots. So after you've taken out all of your perm rods, your curls are going to be really, really defined. So we're just going to separate them. Be careful, do not separate them too much because then you'll mess up the curl pattern. So 
to give my hair even more volume, I'm going to grab my two picks. I have a purple one that's smaller for my shorter sides, and then I have a green one that I use in the middle for the longer parts of my hair. And this just helps to give my hair a lot more volume. You want to be really careful to not pull the pick all the way through your hair because then you'll mess up the definition of the curl at the end. So when you're doing this, just focus on pulling out the roots. And last but not least for my edges, I'm going to use the Eco Styler Gel and the Hold and Control Smoother. Um, both of them together help to really keep my edges nice and laid. Young, young whoosh, I'm a guy with the bus. Young, young whoosh, you might have to catch the bus. And then that's it. If you have any more questions, don't be afraid to ask. I will put all the products in the description box below. And of course, be sure to follow me on all of my social media networks to keep up with me and to find out when I'll be posting new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Bye!